Hello everyone, good evening. Hello Jacqueline, Delmi, Christopher. Hello, good evening teacher. Good evening teacher. Hello, good evening Brenda, Delmi. Good evening teacher. Good evening teacher. Jonathan, Eliseo, welcome to the class. Alba, Rebecca, good evening. Good evening teacher. How are you today? Excellent. I excellent. Oh, that's, that's great. How was your day? How hard. was your Wednesday? It was hard. You have to work a lot today. So is it hot in the place where you live? Is it hot tonight? Yes, hot. Yes, it is. It's really hot, right? I don't know what is happening with the weather. So guys, um, do you have any question about the platform exercises or uh, do you have any problem in those exercises? Any question, any problem, any doubt? No, no comments about the platform exercises? No. No at the moment. Okay, that's great. Just don't forget, please, that during this week, you have to complete the section number four. It's really important that you complete it before Friday night. Antes de la noche del día viernes, you have to complete all the exercises in the section number four. So if you have any question, feel free to write on the WhatsApp group, and we are going to be happy to help you. Solo le quería preguntar algo, teacher. Eh, me mandaron un mensaje diciéndome que hasta mañana teníamos que tener la sección 4 y 5. Hasta la mitad, por lo menos. La 5. No, no really. Section 4. Let me read no. the message. No, I'm reading in this moment the text message here on the WhatsApp group and it says section 4, at least the 80%. Al menos el 80% de la sección 4. En Ajá, mandaron... y de sección 5 o un mínimo de 50. Sí, a mí me mandaron lo mismo. Mm. Teacher, disculpe. Sí. Yo pregunté por eso porque me llegó el mismo mensaje. Y lo que me dijo una de las asesoras es que los que no estamos, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Trabajando o percibiendo prestaciones tenemos que tener, tenemos un como plan distinto. Eso es lo que ella me explicó. Ah, ah ok. Then probably that is the reason why. So you have to finish uh, first the platform. Bye. Si eso les explicó, entonces así debe ser. Han de tener otro, otra exigencia, ¿verdad? Por el hecho de que no tienen prestación. ¿Y los demás no recibieron el mensaje o solo el mensaje que está en el grupo? Buenas noches, teacher. A mí también me llegó el mismo mensaje que dice la compañera. Solamente que yo no, no indagué. Pero en este caso, si no hemos recibido las clases, ¿cómo vamos a desarrollarlas? ¿Las actividades? No, oh, that is a good question. Pero la plataforma nos permite, ¿verdad? Ya que tiene videos, también videos enfermo, informativos. Eh, en los cuales podemos ver los temas ¿verdad? de antemano antes de tener la sesión virtual. Entonces podemos apoyarnos de esos videos. Ahí están los videos, ustedes los pueden ver las veces que los necesiten y luego resuelven los ejercicios. Y si tienen alguna duda con algún ejercicio difícil o que no saben cómo es, pueden preguntar en el grupo de WhatsApp. No importa si es de la sección 1 de la sección 5, con gusto les ayudamos a resolver. Ok, de acuerdo. Ok, thank you so much. Any other Hola, comments? Teacher. A Hello. mí también me, me, me cayó el mismo mensaje que a ellos. Pero... Entonces sí tenemos hasta el día viernes para poder hacer la, las actividades que salen ahí. Porque yo sí no pregunté tampoco solamente del mensaje y contesté que gracias por la información. Vayamos. Hasta el momento la indicación general era para todos que antes del último día de clases debe de estar completa la plataforma. Antes, ¿verdad? 
antes del último día de clase, que sería eh, de este jueves al otro, que es nuestro último día de clase. Ese día tiene que estar la plataforma completa. O por lo menos el 80%, ¿verdad? que es lo que se necesita. Creería yo que no hay ningún problema si no la logran completar para el día viernes, si es demasiado el trabajo, porque sería la sección 5 y también el examen final. Pueden hacerlo la próxima semana sin ningún problema. Yo estuve viendo el examen final y se ve que es algo largo eso, esa última parte. Sí, ¿verdad? Así que no se preocupen tanto por eso, pero sí, no hay que descuidarnos. Recordemos que... Ah, ya decía casi... como el mínimo 50%, por lo menos hasta mañana. Bueno, ajá, por lo menos... A las cuatro. Por lo menos empezaba la sección 5, ¿verdad? Y la próxima semana termina la sección 5 y el examen final. Para que no se atrasen, ¿no? Si no, el día jueves vamos a estar ahí escribiendo en el grupo de WhatsApp. Miren, me dan copia de la sección 5 del, del final test. Entonces vamos organizando el trabajo para que salga antes del día jueves. Eh, del Marily Olivas, eh, yo ya lo hice, teacher. Ok, that's great, congratulations. Then you have already finished all the platform exercises. Ya termino todos los ejercicios de la plataforma del Marily. That's great. Ah, ok, that's perfect. So you can do it, right? If you can, you can do it. No problem with that. Si usted puede avanzar y terminarlo todo, it's okay. No duden en hacerlo. Puede hacerlo sin ningún problema. Mejor, ¿verdad? Ya le queda libre la otra semana. Bueno, but in case that you can't, en el caso de que no pueda, you can continue working the next week on section five and the final test. Any other question? Any other comment? No hay preguntas, no hay comentarios. No, okay, then no. Let's, start with, let's start with tonight class. So welcome everyone, it's nice to be with you today. Uh, let's start with the class. Yesterday we were studying a possessive adjective and also possessive pronouns. So do you remember the possessive adjective? My, your. Okay, excellent. So it's my, your, his, his her, 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 our, our, and the last one is their. Okay. Como regla general, lo distinguimos porque van antes de un nombre, ¿verdad? For example, you say my car, you say your house, you say his cell phone. His cell phone, her wallet, eh, or our classroom, for example, our classroom, their, their what, their backpacks, their backpacks, las mochilas de ellos. Entonces todos van antes de un nombre. My car, your house, his cell phone, her wallet, our classroom, their backpacks. And what happened with the possessive pronouns? So my. It, okay, they are mine. Then you say, for example, this car is mine. This car is mine. Este carro es mío. Then you say, your. Yours. This yours. house is yours. yours. This house is yours. This cell phone is his. This cell phone is his. Is his. And this wallet. And this wallet is hers. It hers. Excellent. This classroom. It's ours. This classroom is ours. Ours. And the last one. The years. This backpack is okay. theirs. Plural. These backpacks are, are theirs. These backpacks are theirs. Estas mochilas son de ellos. So that's plural. 
And also yesterday we studied this question, whose? Do you remember about this question? Whose? Okay, whose bike is this, for example? Whose bike is this? Ay, si el pronombre es este, ¿cuál sería el pronoun? ¿Cuál sería el possessive pronoun? Whose bike is this? Mine. Okay, then you say it. It's mine. It's mine. Okay, if it is in plural, for example, whose shoes are these? Whose shoes are these? And is for the pronoun, for the pronoun, personal pronoun, he. What is the possessive pronoun? There. Whose shoes are this? La respuesta es sería there his. There his. Excellent. Thank you so much. So whose bike is this? You say it's mine. Whose shoes are these? Then you say there his. Son de él. Can you answer the following question here? Whose money is this? Whose money is this? For the pronouns, let's see you. ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? They are yours. Oh, whose, whose money is this? Uh, um, it's yours. Okay, are, thank you. you see, money is uncountable noun, so always is this noun is going to be a singular because it's no count. It's incontable, right? Siempre es singular. So it's yours. yours. It's yours. Then the last question. Who's Or the pronoun, let's see. They. Hey, let's change. Let's say she. Can you answer this question? Who's they are her. Okay, so you say they are. Oh, it was capital letter at the beginning. So you say their hairs, their hairs. So do you have any question regarding this topic? No question. No question regarding this topic. Okay, so let's start with tonight topics. If you don't have any other question, let's go with tonight topic and today or tonight we are going to learn about season and weather. What is your favorite season? ¿Cuál es estación del año favorita? Es verano, invierno. So this is the topic for tonight, season and weather. Estaciones del año y el clima. So let's go with this. So in this class, you will become familiar with the weather and season vocabulary. So take a look at this picture. In this, you are going to find the four seasons of the year. So the first one in this picture is spring. Then we had summer, fall, and winter. Primavera, verano, otoño, and invierno. So, what is your favorite season? ¿Cuál es su estación del año favorita? Is it the spring? Is it summer? Is it fall? Or is it winter? Winter, teacher. Okay. Yes. Del, it's del winter. Del say it's winter. Winter. Okay. Any other answer? What is your favorite season? 
Tell me, what's your favorite season? Okay, we're going to discuss this question later. Uh, right now, look at this. Uh, spring is the season, but it has different weather. Tiene climas diferentes. So look at this. It's warm and it's very sunny. So what is the meaning of warm? Warm is cálido and it's very sunny. Sunny means soleado. It's summer in Korea. It's raining, it's hot and humid. And look at this. In Korea, the summer is a little bit strange. It's a little bit different. So here in summer, we don't have rain. But it says it's summer in Korea, it's raining, it's hot and humid. El verano en Corea es, está lloviendo, está caliente y húmedo. And then it's fall in the US. It's cool, it's cloudy and windy. Es el otoño en los Estados Unidos, o es fresco, es nublado y hace bien. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Está nevando y está muy helado. So those are the weather. Let's listen these sentences. And then we're going to practice. In it's this part. spring in Brazil. Can you listen? Yes. yes. Okay, thank you so much. Here we go. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Any volunteer to try reading the sentences? Who wants? Who wants to practice? I need a volunteer. Who wants to help me? Any volunteer tonight? Who wants to try reading the sentences? Okay, I have two volunteers right now. And I have Jonathan, Jonathan first, and then tell me Alexandra. Thank you so much. Jonathan, can you please start? It's spring in Brazil. It's wine. It's very sun. It's summer in Korea. It's cool. It's slow and windy. Windy. It's cold in, in the US. It's raining. I'm the little. No, it's okay, it's okay. Solo que... Bueno, let's finish. Vámonos a la última. It's winter in Russia. Jonathan, please. It's winter in Russia. It's sunny. It's very cold. Cold. Okay, thank you so much. It's snowing. It's snowing. It's very cold. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, Delmi. So it's warm, sunny, hot and humid, cool, cloudy, and windy. It's snowing and very cold. Any other volunteer to practice in this part? Anyone? Okay, thank you so much. I have Delmi Areli and Alba Rebecca. So tell me, can you please read the sentence about the picture and Alba, the, the sentence at the bottom of the picture. Las de arriba son de Delmi y las de abajo son de Alba. Okay? Okay. okay. Bye. It's, es, ¿cómo se dice aquí, teacher? Es spring. Spring. It's spring. It's spring. It's a spring. In Brazil, it's spring. It's very soon. It's some summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall 
in the U U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cool. Excellent. Thank you so much. Very good job. So let's listen again. Before to have um, the last the last volunteer in this part, let's listen again. Pay attention, please, to the pronunciation of the season and also of the weather. Here we go. Let's listen it's again. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Okay. So spring, summer, warm, very sunny, raining, hot and humid, cool, cloudy, windy, snowing, cold. So let's go with the next. Spring in Brazil. Yes. Por qué ellos hacen como que más alargado el acento cuando digamos terminan ese y luego empieza con otra S? Is no. Así sería. Oh, it's no, it's snowing. Acá porque hay dos S juntos. It's snowing. It's snowing. Y la escuchamos como una S por, por ejemplo acá la palabra it's spring. It's spring. Generalmente, cuando nosotros vemos una S, así nos decimos eh, spring. Sí. Spring. Pero esa E no existe. Esta palabra comienza con sonido de S. So, it's spring. It's spring. Lo mismo sucede acá en snowing. No es snow, it's snowing. It's snowing. It's snowing. Snowing. Oh. Oh. Una S larga. No. Se, se oye como una S larga porque están juntas. La S de it más la S con la que comienza. Snowing. 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 Okay. How do you pronounce this word? ¿Cómo pronuncian la siguiente palabra? Let me write it down here. Can you pronounce this word, please? Student. Student. Ok, so you say a student, student, la palabra student, student, comienza con el sonido de la S, student, so you don't have to say a student, so you say student. Ahora let's practice with this word, let's practice with this season, spring, 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 spring. Spring. Let's practice with this other one. Spirit. Snow. 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 Now. Snow. Like snow. Now. Y por último tenemos este adjetivo. Snowing. It's snowing. Snowing. It's snowing. It's snowing. It's snowing. It's snowing. It's it's snowing. It's snowing. And small. Uh, it's the same for Sweda. It's the same. It starts with the sound S. So you say small. 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 No small. tenemos que decir e small. Mm -mm. You start with the sound s. So small, snowing, student, spring, snow, snow. No. No. Okay. Practice, practice this. So no, no existe esa e, verdad, que nosotros generalmente le ponemos porque en español, verdad. So por ejemplo esta usted diría Spanish, pero la pronunciación correcta es Spanish. 
Spanish. Spanish. Spanish. Esa E no existe. ¿verdad? Tiene que comenzar con la S. Sí. Spanish. Ok. Thank you for your question. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Ok, let's go with the next thing here. We are going to read in a conversation and we are going to find some examples of the weather here. So look at this. Oh no, what's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you are wearing your coat, but my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Do you remember these two kids from the last class? ¿Se acuerdan de esas dos chicas? ¿Por qué se habían peleado anteriormente? Por la ropa. Por la ropa. Por ah, la ok. Ropa. Because the... Ok, la ropa de una de ellas se pintó, ¿verdad? De otro color. Se sí. Se de manchó, Va, en ese pleito estaban y les agarró el mal clima dentro de la landroma, de la lavandería. So look at the question, what's the matter? Cuando salieron de ese pato, oh no, y Julie pregunta, what's the matter? So, ¿cuál es el problema? En Pat said, it's snowing, it's snowing and it's very cold. ¿Cómo está el clima? Muy frío. Está muy frío y está nevando. Y está nevando. Eh, are you wearing your gloves? Look at this question. Eh, ¿Llevas puesto tus guantes? Eh, Pat say, no, they are at home. ¿Dónde están los guantes de Pat? Olvido. Los olvidó en casa. ¿verdad? Says, no, they are at home. Well, you are wearing your coat. Your coat. Bueno, estás usando tu abrigo. But my coat isn't warm. Pero mi abrigo no es cálido. And I am not wearing boots. Y no anda botas tampoco. Ok, let's stay a taxi. Thanks, Julie. ¿Cuál es la solución que le da Julia a Pat? Tomar un taxi. Que tome un taxi. Tomar un taxi para ¿verdad? resguardarse. Okay, yes, that's right. Thank you. So let's listen this is my conversation and then we're going to practice it. So pay attention, please, to the pronunciation of the sentences, especially the ones with related with the weather. So here we go. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. The volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Está hablando de que supuestamente ya está haciendo frío y que ya no anda guantes y no tiene botas y que mejor te mentas. Okay, yes, yes, you are right. All your ideas are correct. Thank you so much. So, Alba and Dina, can you please start practicing? You're welcome. Okay, thank you. So, Alba, Rebecca, and Dina, Esther, can you please start? Alba, you are Pat. Dina, you are Julie. Can you please start practicing? Okay. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cool. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't wear and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Excellent. Very good pronunciation. Thank you, Alba and Dina. Very good job. Thank you so much. Then I have Delmi Arely and Olga. Okay. Yes. 
Okay, tell me okay. you are Pat and Olga, you are Julie. You can start practicing now. Oh, Pat. no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No. No, they are at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm. Come on, hi, teacher. Isn't warm. Isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a, a taxi. Thanks, Julia. Julie. Okay, that was great. Thank you so much, Olga and Delmeredi. So, Alba, Dina, Olga, and Delmi, excellent job in this part. Do you have any question? Any new vocabulary in this small conversation? ¿Qué quiere decir matter, teacher? What's the matter? Okay, what's the matter? ¿Sí? Es una pregunta para cuál es el problema. ¿Cuál es el problema? What's the matter? That is the meaning. What's the matter? Y cuando uno dice no hay problem, problem. Oh, you say no problem. That is when somebody say uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Olga, for your help. And they say no problem. Don't mention it. You're welcome. O, o, o sea que para como un saludo es no, no problem y para cosas así de, 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 de ropa supuestamente o, o de llevar puesto es oh, eso okay. o, no, o it, se usa en otras en otras cosas el yes. ma, mother ma, ¿cómo, es? ¿cómo se pronuncia? matter, what's the matter? matter Ok, generalmente ese es cuando que nosotros queremos saber qué le sucede a la otra persona. Ok. Por ejemplo, acá pregunto, Julia, esto porque Pati exclamó, ¿verdad? Oh, no. Y entonces Julia dijo, ¿cuál es el problema? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué sucede? So the then, problem. what's oh. the matter? Sí, oh, gracias. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, my pleasure. Thank en la parte de, are you wearing your gloves? Se refiere a un, unos objetos y contesta, no, they are, they are at home. ¿Por qué está usando el they are y no it, por ejemplo? Porque es una cosa. Vale. Se puede okay. usar ellos ajá, como para objetos. Así es, they are, se ocupa para personas, para cosas y también para animales. El ah, pronombre okay. they, they. En este caso se refiere a los guantes. Ah, are you no, wearing bueno. your gloves? No, they are at home. No, ellos están en, en casa. En casa. Están en casa. Entonces, they se puede utilizar para animales, para cosas y personas. Ok, thank you. Thank you for your question. And I have another question here on the chat. ¿Existe alguna otra manera de hacer la misma pregunta? Yes. There is another way in is what's wrong. Let me write it down for you. So the other option, instead of what's the matter? Hey, what's the matter? What is the problem? ¿Qué sucede? You can use what's wrong. What's wrong? Esa sería la otra opción. What's the matter? What's wrong? And I have another question here. What is the meaning of cold, teacher? Cold means frío, helado. That is the meaning of cold. Any other question? You're welcome, Josué. Teacher, yo, yo no me recuerdo, pero lo vimos en, en la clase anterior. Wouldn't, eh, ¿qué significaba? Oh, which? Can you please repeat the word? Wedding. 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 Ah, wedding, wedding, wedding. Wedding, ok. Este es el verbo wear, que significaba usar ¿verdad? o llevar puesto. 
o vestir también lo podemos traducir, ah, vestir. Por eso es que está en gerundio, ¿verdad? Cuando hacemos la pregunta. Ah, sí, ¿eh? Sí, llegó el gerundio. Va, eso lo vamos a ver en la clase de mañana, ¿de acuerdo? Esta pregunta, teacher, are you wearing you me, your job? Excuse me, teacher. Eh, yes, thank ¿por you, teacher. ¿Por qué what's your word? Oh, it's another expression para preguntar qué sucede, qué pasa. Es otra opción. Para, instead of saying, what's the matter? So you can say, what's wrong? What's the matter? Wow. Sí, ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Let me see if I have another question. Okay. Okay. Sí, sure. es, ese wrong es igual que la W también. Pasa lo mismo con la S, ¿verdad? Es como wrong. Wrong. Ajá, wrong. What's wrong? Okay. Thank you so much. Then let's continue. If you have, if you don't have any other question, let's go with the next thing. Here we're going to learn vocabulary about the season so here are the four seasons we have winter summer spring and fall any volunteer to practice reading the seasons of the year any volunteer okay no volunteers to read this part Winter, summer, spring, fall. Okay, winter, summer, spring, fall. Thank you so much. What is the meaning of winter? Winter, what's the meaning Invierno. of winter? Thank Invierno. You so much. Summer, Nieve. summer. Eh, verano. 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 Spring. Primavera. 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 And the last one, fall. Otoño. Otoño. No, no, no. Bueno, sí. Otoño. Ok, very good. So, y autumn, ¿qué es? Oh, that is another way to say otoño. We es have, también otoño. We can say fall or we can say autumn. Autumn. Ah, autumn. Fall or autumn. Tell me, del Marily, what is your question? Teacher, ¿y cuando llueve es el mismo invierno? Eh, bueno, aquí los climas son diferentes en cada país. ¿no? Por ejemplo, estábamos viendo que en Corea, en la primera imagen, decía, it's summer in Korea. Y abajo decía, it's raining, humid, and warm. And warm, it says. And warm. So, el invierno ahí, eh, perdón, el verano, en el verano y llueve, es húmedo y es caliente. So, húmedo, húmedo, húmedo. Humid, humid. Entonces, el clima va a ser diferente en cada lugar. Lo que ¿Qué sino... tan cierto es que tenemos acá solo dos estaciones en Chita? Mm, sí. I guess it's true. Yo creo que es verdad. Solo esa. Sí. No, otoño no hay. We have winter and summer. Ajá. Uh -huh. La mitad del año es eh, verano y la otra mitad es invierno. Antes, sí recuerdo que veíamos un poco el otoño ahí por octubre. Paul, por ahí por no. octubre, noviembre, ¿verdad? Que sí hacía viento, era un poco fresco. But now the weather has changed a lot. Ahora el clima ha cambiado mucho. Quizás depende de las zonas también, ¿verdad? Donde era más de costo, quizás se daba más hace unos años. Yes, it depends on the place, right? Depende del, del lugar. So, cada, uno de, cada una de estas estaciones tiene diferentes climas. By, por ejemplo, winter, generalmente en El Salvador. How's the winter? ¿Cómo es el invierno? Y le salí, ni sé ni cómo. A donde quería, donde dice Zoom. Fresh, humid. Ay, lluvioso. 
Muy bien, es lluvioso. ¿verdad? Esos son los diferentes tipos de climas. O es lluvioso, sí. helado, húmedo. Ajá, eso lo vamos a ver a continuación. Eso te ya le contesto. Weather. So here are some weather. Aquí están algunos de los climas más comunes. So let's see. Windy, snowy, rainy, cloudy, stormy, sunny, foggy, and drizzly. So the first one, windy, is cuando hace viento. Snowy. Desafortunadamente no tenemos este tipo de clima aquí en El Salvador. No nieva. Yeah. No está nieve. Snowy, nevando. Rainy, yes. Cloudy, yes. Es nublado. Stormy, yes. Es como tormentoso, que está cayendo una gran tormenta. So, sunny, soleado, foggy. Esto es eh, cuando hay neblina. En drizzly, cuando está lloviznando. ¿Por qué terminan todos con why? I don't know why, but all of them are adjectives. Todos son adjetivos. Pareciera que son adverbios porque terminan en why, but they are adjectives. Todos son adjetivos. Teacher, what is raining? Rainy, lluvioso. So if you are at home, can repeat after me. That's going to be great. So windy, snowy, rainy, cloudy, stormy, sunny, foggy, and drizzly. Hay otros más, ¿verdad? Hay otros más, otros climas que son poco comunes, but you can investigate those other weather. Here in this class, we're going to discuss this. Windy, snowy, rainy, cloudy, stormy, sunny, foggy, and drizzly. Any question in this part? No question? No question. Del me tell me, what is your question? Disculpe, teacher, puede decir qué significaba cada uno. Oh, yes, no problem. So, windy, que está haciendo viento. Snowy, nevando. Rainy, lluvioso. Cloudy, nublado. Stormy, eh, tormentoso, podemos decir. Que está lloviendo muy fuerte. Stormy. Sunny, soleado, foggy, eh, con neblina, que hay neblina, that is foggy, and drizzly, lloviznando. Bueno, aparte de las estaciones y el clima, we have temperature. Temperature. La temperatura, como esta noche que está. What is the temperature? What is the temperature tonight? tonight? Warm. Is it warm or hot? Well, in some places it is warm. In other places it's hot. Hot. Okay, then don't worry. So we have hot, warm, cool, cold, and freezing. So hot means caliente. It's hot. Está muy caliente. Hace mucho calor. It's warm. Está cálido, pero todavía es agradable. It's warm. It's cool. Está fresco. It's cold. Está helado. It's freezing. Eso significa está muy helado. Como cuando va a la montaña, ¿verdad? Y escala el volcán y llega arriba y se pone una nube y sí, es, siente que se congela. That's freezing. <risa> Aquí está cool. Ah, cool. that's great. So you say, it's cool. It's cool. Teacher. Yes. ¿Puedes puede repetir, por favor, las, las de tem, temperatura? Temperature. Temper. Ok, hot, caliente. Warm, cálido. Cool, fresco. Cold. Helado, 
en freezing muy helado. Thank you, teacher. Okay, so keep in mind this vocabulary. And let's answer this question. What's your favorite season? And what's your favorite weather? ¿Cuál es su estación favorita y cuál es su clima favorito? My favorite. No, no. ¿Qué season, teacher? O sea, so. Estación. Ah, my favorite season. Así se dice. Yes. It's winning. Oh, winter. 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 <laughs> Muy bien. My favorite season is winter. And what's your favorite weather? ¿Qué es weather, teacher? El clima. Su clima favorito. Fresco. It's cool. Okay, so my favorite weather is cool. My favorite weather is cool. What? ¿Cómo es, teacher? Es que se me traba la lengua. My favorite weather. Weather. Is, my favorite weather is. Okay, then you say one of these. It's my cool. My favorite weather. It's, it's cool. Okay, thank you so much. Any other answer? What's your favorite season? And what's your favorite weather? The last volunteer to answer this question. What's your favorite season? What's your favorite weather? <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> Which one, Jonathan? It's winter. It's winter. And what's your favorite weather? My favorite weather is foggy. Foggy, okay. Foggy. Solo cuando va conduciendo, no creo que le guste que esté foggy. O sí. Ah, okay. That's great. That's great. Sí, se mira genial, ¿verdad? En la madrugada, cuando sale tempranito. And it's foggy. So it's pretty cool. Any other volunteer? Okay, let's go with the next exercise. My favorite. Okay, let's go with Brenda. Brenda, tell me your answer. Uh, my favorite season is winter. Um, and my favorite winter is weather, weather. Weather, weather drizzly. Okay, that's me, drizzly. You are a, like, a romantic person. Me gusta la llovizna cuando está lloviendo. Leer un libro y tomar café. That's great. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So, tell me, Alexandra. Uh, what, what your favorite season is winter. And what your favorite weather, weather? Cool. It's cool. Okay. Thank you, Delmi. Thank you for your answer. And now, take a look at this. What's the weather like? What's the weather like? Que es la pregunta que generalmente se utiliza para preguntar cómo está el clima. So, what's the weather like? Generalmente se le agrega la palabra today. What's the weather like today? Sería la pregunta, ¿cómo está el clima hoy? So, it's what's raining. the weather like? In the first picture, what's the weather like? It's rainy. It's rainy? Yes, rainy. you are right. So, the answer here is it's rainy. In so you, so you say it's raining. It's cloudy. It's rainy. No. And the other one? Yes, you are right. So you say it's cloudy. It's cloudy. 
what's the weather like today? So we say, it's raining, it's cloudy. Do you want to practice in this? Who wants to read the question? Any volunteer? Thank you, Delmi Areli. You are going to read the question. Any other volunteer to read the answers? Any other volunteer? Teacher, y para preguntar cómo estuvo el clima ayer, se diría, what is the weather like today? Uh, uh, perdón, yesterday. Oh, sería, what was? What ah, was the weather like bueno. yesterday? Y responderíamos siempre con el was, ¿verdad? Yes, was rainy. Say, it was rainy, it was cloudy. It was uh, okay, okay Christopher. Okay, gracias. thank you. Christopher, help me reading the answer, please. Del Mianeli, can you ask the question, please? ¿Cómo tengo que hacer la pregunta, teacher? What's the weather like today? Ah, okay. Christopher, what's the weather like today? It's raining. And, y la otra teacher, no? The same, the same question. Otra la vez. Mi, yes. Pero digo la misma pregunta. La misma pregunta. What's, what's the weather like today? It's raining. The second picture? It's cloudy. Thank you so much, Christopher and Delmi. So okay. what's the weather like today? It's rainy, it's cloudy. Let's go to the next picture and tell me what's the weather like today in the next picture. Tell you this picture, what's the weather like today in the first picture? It's warm. Oh, no. Sorry. Sunny. Any other option? It's summer. It's summer. It's summer. Probably it's summer. Okay, it's, it's cold. this. It's foggy. foggy. It's foggy. It's foggy. Ese es el clima, probablemente la temperatura. You are right. It's cold too. It's cold. It's cold. And what about the second one? What's the weather like today in this place? It's windy. It's windy. Probably no. it is. ¿Qué otro adjetivo podemos utilizar para ese clima? What's the weather like? It's today? stormy. Okay, it's it's storm. stormy, yes. It's a storm. So it's foggy, it's a stormy. Let's see the other. I have another picture here for you. Can you please tell me what's the weather like in those places? In it's the first snowing. one. It's snowing. Okay, it's snowing. In oh. the second picture. It's, it's sunny. sunny. It's sunny. It's snowy, it's sunny. It's and sunny. in this other place. Eh? Se ve soleado, teacher. And both sunny. It's sunny. Or sunny. Windy. And the second is windy. Okay, look at this. Cuando en el cielo no hay nubes, it is not cloudy. Generalmente se ve todo azulito, unas pocas nubes. So we use this adjective too. It's clear. So we say it's clear. Mean está despejado. It's clear. We use this adjective to say that there is a cloud. No hay nubes. So it's clear. And in this case, in the second picture, it's windy. windy. It's windy. What's the weather like today? It's clear. You say it's windy. Okay. Any question in this part? Teacher. 
Yes. En esa es it's windy o it's windy. Windy. It's dice? windy. 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 It's windy. It's windy. It's windy. windy. Okay, much better now. It's windy. A question, teacher. Tell me what is your question. ¿Por qué es windy? En la segunda. Ah, look at the coconut plant here. Mire uh -huh. las, los cocos. Eh, las hojas están como para un lado. Le está haciendo bien. That's oh. why. Ok, teacher. Windy. Thank you so much. No more question in this part. Then let's go with the last exercise for tonight. I have here a conversation for you. So why is important to know about the weather? Porque es importante aprender acerca de cómo decir el clima, la temperatura y las estaciones del año. Es uno de los temas que más se utilizan para comenzar una conversación, ¿verdad? Tanto en inglés como en español, ¿verdad? The weather es como un starter. Algo para comenzar a platicar con alguien. Usted se encuentra con alguien que no conoce en el bus y usted le dice, está haciendo calor hoy, ¿verdad? Sí, mire, ¿y usted de dónde es? Ah, de San Miguel. Ah, oh, no, allá hace bastante calor. Y comienza, ¿verdad? Y termina contándole toda su vida en el bus a esa persona. So, that's why it's really important to learn about the weather because the same happen in in any other country. Lo mismo sucede en cualquier otro país. The weather es como un tema inicial para entablar una conversación. So, take a look at this example. It says, good morning. Morning, how are you today? No so bad things in you. I'm good. A beautiful day, isn't it? Yes, it's sunny and warm. Where are you from? I'm from Russia. What's the weather like in Russia? It's freezing, cold, and snowy. Y probablemente aquí la siguiente pregunta va a ser en Where are you from? ¿Y de dónde eres tú? Y le va a decir en What's the weather like in your country? ¿Y cuál es? ¿Cómo es el clima en tu país? And then they are going to start a conversation. That's why it's important. So I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. I have Delmi Arely and tengo Delmi and Christopher Raúl. En, en el, la primera vez tenemos a Delmi and Brenda. Luego va Alison and Dina. Ok. So Delmi, you can start. Good morning. Morning. How are you today? Not so bad. Thanks. And you? I'm good. A beautiful day, isn't it? Yes. It's sunny and warm. Where are you from? I am from Rus Russia. What's the wind there like in Russia? It's freezing cool and also snow. No we. No. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Brenda. And then we great job. Almost perfect. Thank you. Then let's go with Alison and Dina. <clears throat> you primero. Yes, please. Good morning. Morning. How are you today? Not so bad. Thanks. And you? I'm good. A beautiful day, isn't it? Yes, it's sunny and warm. Where are you from? I'm from Russia. What's the weather like in Russia? It's freezing, cold, and snowy. Thank you so much. That was perfect. Thank you. And I have another volunteer to practice. Thank you, Alison. Thank you, Dina. I have Olga and Delmi Areli. Olga, you are A, Delmi, you are B. You can start practicing now. 
Okay. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? No so bad, thank and you? I'm good. A, a beautiful day is in it. Yes, it's sunny and warm. Where are you from? Um, from I'm from Russia. What's the weather like in Russia? It's freezing. Freezing. It's freezing cold and snowy. Thank you so much, Olga and Delmi. Great job. Thank you. So, do you have any question about this small conversation? Teacher, quiero hacer una pregunta. ¿Por qué donde dice a beautiful day isn't it? Ah, ok. Hermoso día y después. Eh, acá es cuando usted le pregunta a una persona por una confirmación, ¿verdad? Sí. Es como un bonito día, ¿verdad? O un bonito día, ¿no es así? Mm, ya. Yeah. Ok. Es, es no es así. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Thank you for your question. Ok. Let's do the last exercise for tonight. So, Let's see who wants to help me. Any volunteer? Any volunteer? Any volunteer? Just one volunteer? Okay. Then... No le escuché, teacher. ¿Qué dijo? Para qué, teacher? <laughs> okay. Uh, you are going to see. Let's start with Brenda. Brenda, where are you from? Where do you live here in El Salvador? Where are you from? ¿De dónde es? ¿De qué ciudad del Salvador? Um, Quesaltepeque. Ah, ok. What's the weather like in Quesaltepeque? ¿Cómo es el clima ahí? What's the weather um, like in Quesaltepeque? It's uh, warm. It's warm. Ok, that's great. So, Olga, where are you from? It's from San Miguel. No, oh, then you say, I'm from San Miguel. I'm, I'm from, from San Miguel. San Miguel. What's the weather like in San Miguel? Um, si me gusta San Miguel. No, ¿cómo es el clima en San Miguel? What's the weather like in San Miguel? It's, it's cool. It's, it's caliente. Oh, then it's hot. It's hot. It's Demasiado hot. hot. Oh, it, then you say it's very hot. Very hot. It's Thank very you. hot. Okay. Uh, del me, Alexandra, where are you from? It's from San Salvador. What's the weather like in San Salvador? Warm, um, warm. It's warm, okay. It's Del me warm. It's warm. It's warm. Thank you, teacher. Okay, no problem. Del me where are you from? ¿Qué es eso? Um, warm. Warm. Ah, cálido, cálido. It's cálido. Uh. <laughs> Teacher, I'm um, from El Salvador. El, el cuadro grande y no puedo ver lo que va poniendo de letra. Ok. Um, what's the weather like in El Salvador? It's hot, teacher. It's hot. It's hot. The last volunteer. The last one. El último y nos vamos a dormir. Just one. Okay, Jonathan. Thank you, Jonathan. Where are you from, Jonathan? I'm from El Salvador. Eh, oh, what's the weather like in Cojutepeque? It's usually cool, but lately it, it's hot. Okay, usualmente fresco, pero últimamente está caliente. 
Ok. Pero no vive cerca del cerro. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's yes. great. That's great. Ok, thank you so much for your answer. Thank you for your participation. Thank you for your help in every thank exercise you. during this class. Have a good day. Yes, Alison, tell me, what is your question? No sé si usted me puede agregar al grupo de WhatsApp. Es que sin querer. Bueno, no se fue sin querer. Realmente tuve que cambiar el número. Y se borró mi cuenta anterior. Mm. Let me see. Creo que eh, no, no tiene el correo. Todavía tiene el correo que recibieron de confirmación del curso. Yo creo que sí. Ahí está el link del grupo, porque creería que yo no soy administrador y no la puedo agregar. Pero eh, ahí pero, es. Pero creo que, bueno, a mí me mandaron un mensaje diciendo que se, me, habían, me iban a sacar de ese grupo porque había un error. Mm, ese fue antes de comenzar el curso. Ajá. Déjeme ver. Ah, sí, sí, sí puedo agregarla. Vale, escríbame a este número. Se lo vale, Este es mi número, usted me escribe un mensajito para tener su número y poder agregar. Oh, permítame. Thank you. Ok. Una pregunta, Tiche. Yes. En, en, en este mensaje que mandaron de inglés corporativo, sale un número que dice Andy Ramos. Ese es el que se va a utilizar para cualquier pregunta, para cualquier consulta. Eh, which one? Le saluda. Le llegó a su WhatsApp personal. Sí, me llegó al WhatsApp. Ah, ok. Sí, con él se puede comunicar cualquier duda. ¿Y su número? Eh, ahí está, en el mensaje que le llegó. Ahí tiene que estar el número. Es, es el, 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 no, el 7948-8434. That must be the number. Ese debe ser el nombre. Oh, Josué David. Ok, Olga. Cualquier cosa y le puede escribir a, a esa persona. Eh, yo quería consultar sobre las fechas para la inscripción del siguiente curso. Vayan va analizando ya las cosas, ¿verdad? los formularios, perdón, los formularios, los documentos que le solicitan, porque creería que ya la próxima semana Podrían los documentos enviar. serían los mismos. ¿Cómo sería la? Bye, sí, para, teacher, ¿Cómo sería? Para mayor información, si pueden escribirle a la persona que envió el último mensaje en el grupo. Okay. Pues ellos manejan mejor esa información. Escríbanle preguntándole, ¿verdad? ¿Cuándo van a iniciar las, las inscripciones para el siguiente módulo? Porque okay. creería que también va a haber una semana de vacaciones que ya viene, no más finalice en este curso, las siguientes de vacaciones. Así es, ¿verdad? Entonces nos tendríamos que inscribir antes, teacher. Consúltenle, consúltenle a ellos porque ah, ellos manejan okay, la fecha teacher. de inscripción. Ok. Y si no, yo voy a consultar también y les digo mañana. Ajá. Uh -huh. Está y bien, teacher. Gilma, Perfect. yes. Para cada curso tienen que presentar los mismos documentos. Y Beth Santillana se mmm, probablemente el siguiente módulo no. Pero pueda que sí nos encontremos en algún otro curso, ¿verdad? Cuando ya vayan más avanzados. Ay, teacher, lo vamos a extrañar. Ah, todavía nos queda una yes. semana y una clase, so don't worry. Ya como que nos estamos despidiendo. No, es cierto, es cierto, bueno. teacher, yo la apoyo ahí. Ok, bueno. De momento, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow, bye teacher. Tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye. bye, teacher. Good night, bye, bye. teacher. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye, bye.